What's up YouTube? Um, I just want to run through um, adding a delay effector to an object. So usually uh, effectors are kind of associated with the cloner or the matrix uh, objects, but you can you can actually in fact use uh, effectors with just standard objects as well, even though there isn't an option to uh, place effectors, and um, you can't actually use them as kind of modifiers. There is a way to use an effector on an object and it's done with uh, an Expresso node. So I'm just going to create a null to hold the Expresso and go to Tags Expresso and uh, drag and drop the cube. Now if we right click, go to New Node, uh, Motion Graphics, there is a Sample node which is um, not very uh, common, commonly used. And um, if I just duplicate the cube, hold down control and click and drag, and I select object, the red um, tab, and then object, and I link that up to, sorry, select the red tab and choose global matrix, and do the same over here as well, except on the blue tab, global matrix and hook that up to global matrix here and then the also the input global matrix to global matrix like this so that these two are the same objects and uh, then if I go to say effector delay I'll just put that there and select object from the red tab again actually before I hook this up I'm gonna uh, animate this so go to frame zero, push it back, go to coordinates and just set some keyframes for position and I'll go to frame 30, move it along and set the new position keyframe. So I've got this just very simple animation before I hook it, hook it up. I've got the delay effector there. So I'm going to add some spring to this animation using the delay effector but uh, nothing else. So the animation I created is just linear, but if I hook in this uh, delay effector, object to the effector, I don't know if you can see that, so that's basically the setup. Now when I play back, you probably notice it plays a little bit smoother, but if I go to the delay settings here, and I choose m uh, mode under effector and set it to spring, just increase the strength slightly, I play back the animation, you'll notice that the cube kind of did a little bounce at the end. So I'm basically using the delay effector to influence the animation of the object. And I can increase the uh, strength. And it kind of exaggerates the spring. So uh, uses for this, I guess you could use it for a kind of cartoon animation. If you want to make your character more cartoony, you could use the kind of delay effector to add some spring. And um, I haven't messed around with the other effectors to be honest. So if something goes wrong, officially the tutorial ends here. But um, I'll try a formula be dangerous but um, let's see what happens if I hook up the formula so I can just drag and drop it onto the node and it replaces it now whoops every time I click it something happens so you, you can get some strange behavior doing this so I'd kind of be careful <laughs> every time I click it a cube kind of gets more and more massive absolute scale Jesus. 0.1 yeah, every time I click it, something seems to be happening. As you can see, something just crazy happens. But, um, yeah, just basically wanted to show you how to hook up an effector to an object, and uh, you can play around yourself. Now, thanks for watching.